My name is Craig Sims. I'm the co-owner here at Rhino Outdoors. I'd like to take a minute today to talk to you about a new product we have at Rhino called the Lid Cam. The Lid Cam is a hassle-free, easy-to-use action video camera. We hope this video will help the person like myself who buys a product, rips it out of the pack, throws the instructions to the side, and expects to operate the product perfectly. As you can see, everything that is needed is included in the lid cam package. You have, of course, the lid cam, micro SD, two gig. You have an AV out to set date and time and play back on your TV. You have a 12 volt charger. You have a AC wall charger and the USB cord is provided. The first thing you need to do when you remove the lid cam from the package is to charge it fully. The initial charge could take up to four hours. To charge the lid cam, you simply take the rubber grommet, remove it from the rear to expose the USB port. The lid cam charges through the USB port. Simply insert the USB into the rear of the unit. Take the USB, plug it into the AC adapter, plug it into the wall and charge. Also included, as we said before, is a 12 volt that allows the customer to charge on the go. When you're charging the lid cam, the indicator light will be a steady red. When the unit is fully charged, the indicator light will turn green. At this point, you are ready to film. The next step is to insert the micro SD card. Simply remove the grommet again, take the micro SD contacts up, insert into the slot, and press till it catches. Always remember when removing or inserting the micro SD card, the lid cam must be off. If the lid cam can, is on when you insert or remove the micro SD card, this could result in the unit locking down. If this occurs, you simply take the unit, find the reset button on the lid cam, take a small paper clip or pointed object, push in the reset button and the lid cam is back to normal. Now you're ready to set the date and time stamp on your lid cam. First select a TV and make sure it is set to the input that you are going to use. The AV cable provided in the lid cam package will have two ends, a yellow or white and a red. Now you just take the yellow or white plug on the AV and insert it into the yellow video in plug on the TV. Now you are ready to connect the AV to the lid cam. Simply plug it into the round receptacle in the back of the lid cam and make sure it goes in all the way. After you have inserted the AV into the lid cam and it is connected to the video on your input on your TV, you hit the power button on the lid cam. This will bring up the screen as you see it there. Then you will long press the power button and you go into time set mode. After you're in time set mode, the record button is used then to set the date and time stamp. When you match the record button, you change it to the desired year. You press the power button again, it changes to the desired month. After you set the month, you press the power button, it goes to the desired day. Then you simply go and set the time on your lid cam. And you're finished. If at some point you go beyond, let's say, the year. You simply long press the record button and it takes it back 
to start over. Now we're going to talk about the function controls of the lid cam. One left switch is a flashlight. Simply on and off two LED lights. There are currently two lid cam units on the market. They're easily identified by the screen printing on the two units. The only difference being the function of the power and the record buttons. They're easily identified. The first run units simply say power on the large power button and record um, on the round button. The current production units have the power and you'll see record with standby screen printed under it. The first production lid cam unit with only power and record screen printed as you see here. You simply press the power button. You can see the green light comes on and it begins recording at the same press of the button. Then you simply press the record to put the unit in standby, press the record again, and it starts recording with your flashing red LED. The current and future lid cam units with the record and standby screen printed, you simply mash the power button, the unit powers on, goes in the standby with a green LED, then after three to four seconds, you mash the record button, you'll see the LED begin flashing red. This lets you know you are recording. To put the unit in standby then, you just press the record standby button, sends the unit back in standby with a green LED. Both lid cam units power off in the same way. As the unit is in standby with your green steady LED light, you simply press the power button for three to four seconds. Release, and unit powers off. The microphone for the camera is located in this front left corner. Again, here's the reset button that we spoke of before. And the other slide switch on the right hand side of the lid cam is the zoom. There's a 1x, 4x, and 8x zoom on lid cam. We believe the most unique feature about the lid cam, especially for the hunting industry, is the fact that it has a rotating lens. This allows the hunter to capture the impact shot. This allows the hunter to rotate this lens to the left or to the right from center, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, either way with one touch of the finger. This can be done at any time during the hunt. That office I made. Now that you've been out and filmed with the lead cam, you want to go back home and look at the footage. Very simple. You take the lead cam, remove the back, you'll plug in the USB, plug it into any computer. Once it's plugged into the computer, then you press the power button the unit will turn on. It will then prompt the computer for you to import or view the files that you've just recorded. Depending on the age of your PC, you may have an outdated media player. If this is the case, simply go to our website. There's two locations to download a free media player. One will be on the front page located beside the icon for the instructional video. The other is underneath the instructional video as shown here. Simply click on and download this free media player. If you don't want to connect your lid cam directly to the computer to view or import the footage, simply remove the grommet from the back, remove the micro SD. You will have to place it in an adapter or have an adapter that plays a micro SD and then hook it to the computer and play the footage. Now that you're familiar with the features and controls of the lid cam, you see really how easy it is to operate. From the flashlight to the zoom, which slides, it's all just a one-hand operation. We've also made the power button in the rear that's large, easy to find, and the record and standby button 
It's easy to find without having to take your cap off, look, and change the settings. Now Rhett's gonna come in and tell you just how important that 60 degree rotating lens is and how it's used. Thanks, Craig. Again, my name is Rhett Harden, and I would like to take just a moment to explain to you the rotating lens and why it is essential for you to capture the impact shot on your next hunt. When looking down your bowstring, your head and the bill of your hat will always be facing to the right or to the left of your target. This is why it is crucial to have a rotating lens. If you're right-handed, before you draw your bow back, you're going to reach up and rotate the lens all the way to the left. That's two clicks. We found that two clicks to the left, which is 60 degrees, will fit 90% of all bow hunters. Now you're looking down the air and you will capture the impact shot. When looking down the barrel of a shotgun or rifle, what we have found it is only necessary to rotate the lens one click to the left or one click to the right. That is 30 degrees, depending on which hand you shoot with. This will fit 90% of all shooters. It's a known fact that everybody holds their bow, shotgun, or rifle a little bit different than the next person. And it's also true that nobody wears a hat in the same way. So what we at Rhino suggest you do get the lid cam, get familiar with it, take it out in the backyard, shoot a bow target, take it to the rifle range, take it to the gun range, practice with your shotgun, practice with your rifle, practice with your bow. See what degree and setting best fits you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video. We at Rhino really appreciate your business and your support. Thanks.